Hello, happy haulers. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm happy because I've been hauling and praying and working and just doing a whole lot of stuff. I'm not dead, I'm not sick, and stuff has been happening because it's a pandemic. But we've been hauling and we're happy about it. Yay! So, I mean, I love all the craft stores. But you know why I love Hobby Lobby? It's because Hobby Lobby loves me. Hobby Lobby. Oh, look at there. I was like, what was that doing down there? Sorry for the shaky shake. Yeah, Hobby, Hobby, Hobby Lobby loves us. They keep putting out these stickers. You know, once upon a time, they had these stickers. And now they have these stickers. I don't care which ones they had. I'm hauling. So, let me show y'all what I got. Alright, look. So, I you had this bank. It's not just a bank. It's a spool of thread. It was originally $7.99 and I got it for $1.99. Now, let me tell you. I got this. Not that I need another bank or anything. But I got it because, one, I liked it. I liked the idea of it. Two... I was looking at Zulily one time, and they had this person that had, it was some kind of holder that the person made, and you had to order it, but you had to wait a while before you got it. So I didn't order it because I was like, they might get my money, and I, like, like, like I didn't order it because I've ordered a few things and returned back supposedly to HSN and stuff and this other company on Amazon and all that, and I never got money back for the stuff, and so I'm tired of my money getting gone, especially during this COVID time. Because usually I don't order stuff, um, you know, online and all. But anyway, it gets to me. It just don't return back. Oh, I hate saying that. Just, yeah, know what that sounds like. Hmm. So, this is a craft storage box from Zoology. 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 It was originally five ninety nine. Um. I got it for one forty nine. It's ten by five, ten ten point five inches by seven point thirteen by four by thirteen. So that's a ten by seven, whatever by four and thirteen in depth. Yeah. Let me go on and open it. I'm being bad, y'all. This is one of my um fountain pens that I got from five below. I'm trying to use it for a pointer. Because guess what happened on the way to doing this video. Yeah, I had a pointer up here so y'all wouldn't see my stubby fingers. You know, I just still was going to wave at you. But, um, and I lost it. And guess what? In the midst of saying it, <laughs> I just found it. I just found it. And what's funny is my garbage can was just over here so I could put my garbage in. And I moved it close to the door. Two and I had two points, I guess. I can't count the plastic didn't go in. And then as I looked around, I found my pointer. But this one is more stylish. Point, point, point. Point, point. I don't know, they kind of match the sewing box here. Uh, which one? Which one do I use? Which one? Because that's so cute. I might just end up using this pen. Alright, so here's what's inside. They got one of the little packets that you're not supposed to throw away. And you're not supposed to throw it away because it helps keep the moisture out. So that your things don't rot and mildew and spoil. So while I got it here, I'm going to just show you what else I got and put it in there. Okay, this is some... Um, Full leather wide ribbon. They're not saying that it's vinyl or nothing. It's ribbon. It's a leopard print. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I really don't. It was 37 cents. So y'all know what I did. Yep. I'll think of something. Alrighty. Blank slate. I got some ideas for this. It's $2.99. I got it for 74 cents. Got to take that paper, that, that stuff off. This is two tassel caps. Now, I got some other ones that I did a video on the other day. That's under, I think it's under, what did I do? Leather Love. 
yeah, I did a Leather Love. In fact, I think I need to name it Leather Love 2. I haven't downloaded it yet, but I need to do it because I put everything that I have that I bought associated with leather. So I'm going to add this to the storage. And then one day I'll show you all the storage. Um, but it was $3.49 and then now it's $0.87. Cents. I got these buckles. They were two forty nine. I got them for sixty two, and that's because I actually have those drips kits where you could make the shoes, the um, espadrilles, or some people say wedges. Now this came from Michaels, and it was Blue Moon beads, and I got it on sale. I don't think it was in a haul. There's no sticker, but it was so cute, and the sale was so good. And I got little things to put in there, and I haven't used them yet. Do I have pockets? I need to take this right upstairs and use it. Because I'm putting all my stuff that I'm doing like that upstairs. Alright, so look. Hey, this here, $3.99. And I got it for $0.99. Cents. These are little clear earrings. Which will probably get something done with that. And I'm trying to think of something snow globe-ish to do with it. Hmm. I'll keep thinking. Because right now I don't have anything. But it's cute. All right, so Sology so have emery boards that were two ninety nine. I got them for seventy four cents. His thread, his thimble, needle, button, pens, uh, pen cushion with pens. You wonder what? Why would they have embroidery <laughs> boards? Because people get snags and stuff and need to use them to clear off these snags. So, and these were the same price and got them for seven nine seventy four cents. And you know, I do have a um a table right over across the way there. That's um see I'm gonna use it right now because I got a snag and I ripped off the nail and I could have just waited. But I didn't realize I was gonna do these so anyway, y'all don't wanna know that. But I got this um manicure table right over here. That's holding a whole lot of silk size manicure and stuff. But all the same, I can't mix the one that I just filed with with the others because it's not sanitized. So you know what I'm saying, Burn? So I'm going to have to hold it out, sanitize it, and then I'll put it with the others. In fact, let me put these others back in here. I know you may think, well, these aren't sanitizable. But they are, really. You can. I mean, because I'm using them for myself. I'm not doing anybody else's hands anymore. Not right now. Probably never. And these are just magnets. And I just thought they were cute. Always in stitches. You know, that vintage looking lady in dress and this um, sewing machine. They're just magnets. They were three ninety nine. dollars I got them for $0.99. Cents. Uh, it may or may not be a lot of money. But the point of it is, is that if I had left them there, somebody else would have gotten them. And I would have been thinking, oh, I'm going to go back and get them. And, you know, and I get a bunch of magnets. And what I do with them? Well, when I go back to work, what I do with some of them is, um, like we have file cabinets and stuff and I can put them on there and kind of try to make work look like a happy place okay and so here I go these were both $1.99 and they were purchased by me for 49 cents and I got um, their purse feet you know the little thing things that they put on the bottom of your thing or your purse <laughs> I was gonna say the thing things that's on the bottom of your think things um yeah, so that's what this is. And there are eight in there, so it's enough to cover really like um, two bags per pack. One is brushed, like a brushed antique gold, and the other one is gold. You know, and I just said that about the ting ting and the ting ting. Well, I was teaching my oldest baby to count, and I started them young. Like, I would lift them in the air and like do arm lifts with them and use their little bodies as weights. You know how we do, you just lift them up and I count one, two, three, and I count, and they learn to count early. And, but after I get to 10, and you know, you're saying 11, 12, 13, my baby, she didn't know what to say. She go, she count to 10, then she go to, mm, and ding, 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 ding. So she thought all the teens was like 13, ding, 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 ding. 
Oh, I just thought it was the cutest thing when she was counting. But anyway, you know, I had to correct, of course. <laughs> but it was so cute. I didn't want to, but the world, she has to live in. She has to know how to do it right. So, this is just some white yarn that was $3.99, and I got it for $9.99. And I started to leave it there because I got a whole bunch of yarn. My mom keeps saying, you don't need no more yarn. I'm not going to say this is my house, and I can do what I want to. Because I do pay my mom some attention, but oh, I hate when I'm not obedient. But anyway, this is a standard yarn and a standard color, and you can always use white. Let me show you these. Oh, yeah, I got these egg styrofoams. Two pieces. They were originally probably not much more than I paid for. <laughs> I don't remember what the price was, but I got them for 99 cents. And the reason I got them. See, today I remember that. So, oh, when you do the video, make sure you take your stuff so you can show them what you're talking about. And you don't have to say, oh, well, I got this book. And I will show you all, but I don't have it here. I got it. And I actually got it from Hobby Lobby. It was probably part of a haul. And never saw the book before. Probably never would have paid any attention, but it had that. So, anyway, it was originally 1995, and I got it for 430 Now, this was a while ago. But this is called uh, Japanese Coming combing kimmy combing and what it is is you get styrofoam balls now i can't infringe on these people's copyrights but i'm just gonna let you see a, a picture okay maybe i'll let you see two pictures because i'm gonna look for the egg but you take your styrofoam balls you're gonna make little divots in them with a little cutter it could be a knife box cutter whatever i'm flipping through real quick don't y'all go slow don't y'all pause because we're not trying to do copyright infringement. But I want to show you that not only do they do the balls, but they actually have Easter eggs. Hence, me getting the Easter eggs. Because I got a bunch of regular balls too. But they were on sale and I got them because I was like, oh, I don't want them to leave out of the store. Now what made me want to get this was I was going to the, I'm going to leave this right here while I'm talking. I was going to the Christmas Village here in Birmingham I don't know if they have it other places but they have it here and it's next month and I go every year and I love it because it's not Christmas yet but it makes you feel like Christmas all day and I'll go there and I'll sit and I'll go by myself because I don't want anybody bothering me or complain I want to go home so I go sit I'll have lunch I go use the bathroom I buy whatever well I look around first then so I don't have to carry a lot of stuff then I decide which things I want then I go back and I buy <laughs> stuff I want and they have two floors and it's glorious and they play Christmas music and everything is red and green and everything else in between but it's wonderful and my baby saw the commercial of this she was like they're celebrating it has, it's not even Halloween yet and I was like well don't talk about Halloween yes we do give thanks but I was like baby they just go in and you buy stuff some people buy the stuff for Christmas gifts and not all of it is homemade there's cooking there's a little bit of everything, but a lot of it's homemade and crafts and that kind of stuff. And I love it. All right, so I talked, told you about that. Ooh, I touched it. So anyway, I'm not going to really get Ross in here any other kind of way. <laughs> so I went to Ross for less. And I thought this was cute, and I don't know what, but it's what it is. is it's a three-tiered compact makeup case. It says, I look, and I'm reading the French, it's saying the same thing, a, a, a compact case with three stages. So anyway, and it's a J Alex Spa, you know, the Alex, you know, they, I guess, they're probably for teens. But anyway, I thought it was cute to try out. But it's a mix and blend lip palette. So anyway, I'm going to get upstairs with my girls a little bit later. And we're going to mix, whoop, 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 mix them together. And we're just going to try this out. It was like $3.99. I mean, if I didn't haul and all that stuff, I'd probably be rich. Hmm. I wonder. Then I bought one of my other babies a little notebook, and plus I buy notebooks all the time. So I don't know if I'm going to give this to him or not. But I was trying to buy this here because in case I need to give it to my oldest daughter. But I got a whole, if you all looked at one of my videos, I got a whole one of those plastic tubs full of this kind of stuff. But isn't this cute with the little ballerina? My babies, well, I'll knock that off. I mean, they're girls, but I tell you, sometimes I think they think they're boys. I don't even think they can. But if you could feel this, 
It feels so good. It's so soft and plush. You got it from Ross for four ninety nine. You know how Ross is. You just go there, and they just have stuff. And then, since I got just a little more time, just look, just give me just a little bit more time. All right, so I bought this here from the Dollar Tree. It's the book stand, like this, and it's a dollar. So anyway, I forgot whose video it was, but I saw, oh man, I saw how they had, um, bought a bunch of them, and they did the markers and all that stuff. Well, you know, they tell you don't do that to your markers, but they did, and it looked cute. So I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but I just said, oh man, because if you see down in there, just like they say, don't put your markers like that. One of my pens has flooded. Now, the interesting thing is it's not this Betsy Johnson because she just got put in there today. Uh, it looks like it might be my little Hobby Lobby one with the sewing machine. And it's not this because this is a water pen and it hasn't even had any water touch it, but it's going to have to take a bath now. Oh, man. And then this is a carpenter's pen. i got to go get another one. Got it from a song. I don't think maybe not nine cents. Maybe not even nine nine cents. But I got it because I mean, of course, they don't have a market. At, I mean, a, a pencil sharpener that cuts it. So I'm gonna have to cut it off. I saw my uncle them having when I was younger. He wasn't a carpenter. He was just a jack of all trades. But the point of it was, is I saw a video with calligraphy, and they were using that, and I was like, ah, gotta add one of those to my, my, you know, stash. And then um, you know. I'm just showing you this one because I showed you the other one. This is another Betsy Johnson. It wasn't her fault either because she just got in there. They were in another container that I had over here of some extra stuff. See, I love pens. <laughs> and so they were in this stack. I'm going to show you this. Where did I get this from? Maybe Michael, Michael Jackson. Walmart. Walmart and Michael Jackson. Yeah, they're two favorite things of mine. <laughs> and um, their pencils flocked. So they feel soft and fuzzy. And there you have um, animal prints. And they were super cheap. Probably wasn't even a dollar. And it comes with a case. And But I bought two because I have two daughters. And just in case they wanted them, you can't split a case. Or oh, it wouldn't be cute because you could split it. But it wouldn't be cute. So I bought two. And it didn't cost me a whole lot. Then I got this for them. They haven't even played with this thing. I think I got it for them when it was little. We were supposed to do a haul on their thing. It's a pen. It's a really neat pen. And it stands up. I mean, it got so many. I got so many. But anyway, I bought that thing from Walmart. So I'm going to put some more pens. But not my markers. My markers are in a purse, actually, which they shouldn't be in the purse. I'm going to buy one of those marker things. And then I got this here from the Dollar Tree, too. You know, I paused because I was like, is my thing moving? Is the counter moving? It looked like it got stuck there a minute. And since we might have just a little time, I want to show you something else I bought. At this place, I don't know if y'all have one, but I'm going to show you the bag. It could be Roses. Roses Express. Or Maxway. I like the one they call it Maxway, too. But anyway, this is what I got. Oh, well, no. That came from the Dollar Tree, too. But this is another thing. I like mix and matching. All right. So I got this mix and match nail polish set. Oh, it's kind of crumble. But anyway, it was five ninety nine. And you see what you do? They have powders and stuff. And you mix it with the little liquid and create your own style and polishes. And they got the little palette. So it's almost like paints, but it's not like paints, but they're powders. Speaking of that, I want to show you one more thing I got. <laughs> and it just so happens that, yes, now I kind of have to go off and show you. Because I got this, I think it was Tuesday morning, Home Goods, Tuesday morning. Just speaking of mixing things, and I saw this for a while ago, but it's a powder pigment set, but it's for 
writing. Well, it says create your own paint colors. And they got instructions inside. But. Okay. So they got the powders. And the liquids. <laughs> I got that little stand there. And. Oh, I can't wait to try it. I've been trying to wait Tuesday morning. And see. I saw it when it was the $23 or whatever. And I waited, waited, waited. And it eventually paid off a little bit. I mean, I still paid 16 But I thought, I like mixing stuff. I like the science of it all. So anyway, yes, yeah, that time. I don't want to keep you any busier than you want to be here. And, you know, I got plenty of stuff. If you could see around this room, you'd be like, whoa, she is going to be doing a lot of videos. I am. And I'm trying to get it all organized. And as I do that, I'm going to show it to you. You already see what I put inside the sewing thing. Yes, I organized just right now. Bye-bye.